This motor right here is a 1945 UL bottom end which has four cams. It's a side valve motor. And, uh, I've taken and uh, did some modifications for an overhead valve top end on it. I've got a later model knucklehead top end on a flathead bottom end which makes it a four cam knucklehead. I've been dreaming about building one of these motors for 25 or 30 years since I got a pile of these motors. Feeling excited. I always get excited every time one of these bikes come out of the boxes and turn into a fire breathing machine. <laughs> Because it's not a bolt-in deal, you got, I had to have my buddy uh, Healy arc this hole for the pushrod tube for the clearance because the pushrod tube hole was right here. It ran into this arm right here that runs a rocker box perch. Got Mopar pushrods in here out of a Dodge on two of the holes. Two of the holes are Evo pushrods. We pressed uh, knucklehead cups in the top. When I bring my bikes to a show, I can fire them up right there. And you know, a lot of people don't can't do that. I've seen guys bring bikes to shows that don't run lots of times, that don't have a drop of oil under them. My bike, excuse me, my bikes have a drop of oil under them. <laughs> Over this. Now I gotta finish this up. This is a four cam knucklehead. I'll fire it up a couple more times, probably for the next couple days over and over, and I'll retorque the whole engine after I get it to heat up and shrink down a bunch of times. And then I'll finish putting it together and get it ready. We're gonna show that running through the show circuit this this season, hopefully.